What's going on, TW fans? Thomas here, bringing you this episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. October is rapidly ending here. Halloween's just a few days away, and that means winter is not too far behind. So if you're in one of those colder states, make sure you're getting out on the water while you still can before it turns hard. If you're in one of those warmer states, well, enjoy the end of that fall bite before it turns to that more frugal, tougher bite in the winter. Well, regardless of where you're at, where we're fishing, we got some cool new stuff from some awesome manufacturers here. So we're gonna jump in with Six Sense. Got a ton of new products from Six Sense, so we're gonna start with some rods here. We have the new Six Sense ESP casting and spinning rods. We've actually carried these on the website for a little bit now, but we had very limited models and we now have nearly the full lineup. So definitely head over to the site and check them, on, check them out. So these are really cool rods, nice, well-balanced rods. They're built on a 30-ton Japanese graphite blank, and they're topped with some Fuji Alkanite medium-sized guides. I like those medium guides because you're gonna kind of get that more, uh, almost like a micro guide management of your line, but it's still big enough to accommodate, you know, some of those line to leader knots. And I use braid to fluoro or braid to mono or braid to a copolymer in most of my setups. So it's kind of nice that I can still get the knot through those guides, but they're still small enough to really manage the line and minimize vibration. As we move down here, we're gonna get to that diamond keep keeper system, which is great, especially if you have a Texas rig on, you're not gonna have to pop your plastic off the hook. You can just slide it right over. And then we're gonna come down to this two piece Fuji reel seat. That two-piece reel seat is nice for a couple reasons. Up front, you have this custom Sixth Sense hood, so it's really gonna lock your reel down, but also give you those great aesthetic appeals to it. And it's also gonna minimize the material to maximize blank contact, because that's what this rod is all about, maximizing sensitivity. And I think that's really important as we're transitioning into winter. That bite, like I said, is gonna come a little bit more frugal. You're gonna get more finicky fish, so you don't wanna miss any of those bites. So maximizing sensitivity is always good that time of year, so you can get more fish to the boat. Behind that reel seat, we're gonna have a hard rubber coated composite handle. So that's really nice that the rubber coating is gonna give you, you know, that sure grip to it, nice comfortable feel. And then that composite handle is just gonna maximize the sensitivity that I was talking about before. You're gonna feel every little bite, every little change in the contour at the bottom of your lake. And like I said, once winter rolls around, you're gonna to wanna to maximize and capitalize on every bite you get. You can't afford to miss any of them. So if you're looking for a nice, sensitive, well-balanced, responsive rod, check out the ESP series from Six Cents. All right, we're gonna jump into some baits from Six Sense now. First up, we got some terminal tackle. We have the new Six Sense Swing Head Shaky Head. This one's cool for a couple of reasons. First, you have this nice hook on the back here. It's gonna give you nice, quick, positive, confident hook sets. And it's also wide enough to accommodate more than just your standard worms that you're gonna be using on a shaky head. So if you wanna use a creature bait or something with just a little bit more bulk to it, that wider hook gap is gonna accommodate that. Up front, we have this swinging uh, screw lock keeper system. So that's gonna give you nice, easy rigging and also just kind of move with your bait a little bit more and maximize the life of whatever plastic trailer you got on it. The head itself, nice shape to it with a flat bottom. So it's gonna keep your plastic in that upright foraging position that fish really can't ignore. It's got that flat bottom to do just that. And then the durable paint coating on this. Got a couple different color options and then a raw unpainted option as well. So that, that paint job is just gonna last it a little bit longer as you're bouncing it through those rocky, rocky bottoms. But what makes this thing really cool is they actually embedded a bar inside the head, so you're gonna get this pivoting, swinging hook. That's where that, that name comes from, that swing shaker. So it's gonna maximize the action of whatever trailer you're at. Like I mentioned, most of these things are used with worms, but if you have a creature bait on there, maybe a little craw, whatever you're putting on this thing, that swinging design is gonna really maximize it. It's also gonna take away some of the leverage once you do hook up with a fish, so they're not gonna be able to throw that bait quite as easily. So a pretty cool option from Six Sense on the terminal side. Now let's take a look at a couple swim baits that we're really excited about. First one up here released at iCast is the Six Sense Trace swim bait. So you got a nice four segment body. The front three are hard, and then this back one is gonna be a soft, stretchy, but still durable tail. So that's gonna maximize your action on this thing and just give the fish kind of a more realistic feel to it. Another nice thing about this tail is Six Sense designed it to be interchangeable. So after this thing's been ravaged by a bunch of big fish and you need to restore it to its original performance, you can throw a brand new tail on there and you got basically a brand new bait, which is great. However, if you're faced with some you know, stained water or just low visibility conditions and you wanna add a nice bright pop to your bait, you can pull this thing off, maybe throw on a chartreuse tail, something to help those fish visually key in on your bait. 
And speaking of the visuals for this one, we got some awesome detailed custom airbrush paint schemes. I mean, Sixth Sense, they're hard baits, they have some dynamite colors. This one's absolutely no different. So you have that custom airbrush paint scheme, like I was saying, but you also have some great 3D features to it as well. You're gonna have those etched scaling for a realistic look to it. You know, you got an exposed dorsal fin up top, some pectoral fins down here, some gill rakers, those oversized 3D holographic eyes. So just some great realism to this one. With the action on this thing, you're gonna get a nice tight shimmy on a quicker retrieve. And as you slow it down, you're gonna get that more traditional S action to this thing. And and another nice thing about this one is the hardware on it. You know, it, it kind of is frustrating if you invest a lot of money into a nice swim bait, a uh, nice crankbait, whatever the case may be, and it comes with subpar hardware that you immediately have to turn around and swap out. Not the case here. We have some premium EWG treble hooks that are sticky sharp. I poked myself with this thing earlier. And then we have some robust split rings. So you're ready to go. This thing's gonna dive out of the package into your water, and you're gonna be able to cover, cover a lot of different columns because it is actually available in two models. We have a floating option. So if you wanna run this thing over some submerged grass, uh, some shallow cover, that floating option be great or maybe as we're transitioning into the winter time and you want to fish a sink a little bit deeper they have a slow sink option as well so just a couple different options so you're gonna be able to tackle fish in every section of the water column all right, so we got another different swim bait for you here. This one's gonna be more of your traditional glide bait. This is the Sixth Sense Draw Glide Bait. Another really, really cool one. This one was designed by renowned angler, uh, Ben Milliken and the Sixth Sense team. They actually put a lot of time and thought into this one. So they actually spent three years in development with over a dozen prototypes before they deemed this thing ready to prowl your lakes. So you know this thing had a lot of thought put into it to give you a premium option. So with the glide bait on this one, you're gonna get more of that traditional S lazy, slithering motion underwater that fish really, really key in on. You're gonna get a bunch of explosive strikes or maybe you're just gonna get some, expo uh, some nice followers to expose where those fish are hiding. Uh, if you change up your reel cadence, you know, speed it up or maybe give it a couple snaps at a rod tip, you're gonna get a more responsive action out of this one as well. So you're not limited to that lazy S gliding action, but it is there for that traditional glide bait look to it. Again, just like the trace that we looked at and all the other Sixth Sense hard baits, you have that premium paint scheme. I have actually the Cajun gill in my hand. Head over to tackleworlds.com. We have a ton of different colorways on this one. And then on the back side here, it is a, a harder plastic, but still, you know, soft tail. So you're gonna get more of that realistic look to it. I like this one a lot for a couple of reasons. Unlike a lot of the gliders on the market, this one actually has rattles in it. So not only are you gonna get that great action, the great looks, you're gonna get an acoustic layer of traction to this one as well. So it's just gonna draw more fish in. And once you do get those fish in, you know with glide baits, you're not gonna get a ton of bites necessarily. So it is really important to capitalize on those fish that do attack this thing. So Sixth Sense hooked us up with some premium hardware again. We have EWG round bend treble hooks, but they have that nano coating on there, so you're gonna get lightning quick penetration. So, you know, as I mentioned earlier, we are transitioning into that winter time. Bass tend to get a harder mouth, so this is gonna sail right through those hard mouths really easy, so you're gonna get more hookups. And then they also, these premium hooks, are hanging from a swinging hook hangers. So that's really, really nice. Those hooks are gonna move with the fish. They're not gonna get the leverage needed to throw those baits. So like I just said, you know, you may not be getting a ton of bites with these bigger glide baits. So it's important every time you do hook up to get that fish back to the boat, into the net. And I think Sixth Sense gave us, gave us the hardware to do just that. So that's a pretty couple, couple cool swim bait options from Sixth Sense, great terminal. And they also got some cool apparel. So right now I'm wearing one of the Sixth Sense short sleeve t-shirts. It's got the nice Sixth Sense logo on the front here. And then the reason I picked this one, it's actually called the Paranormal. On the back, I got a nice skeletonized kind of zombie style fish that can swim right out of Davy Jones locker to chase a plug. But you know, it's not just limited to Halloween options. We got tons of different shirts, tons of different uh, you know buffs on there. We got some shorts, we got all kinds of stuff from Sixth Sense. So make sure to head over to tackleworlds.com to check out all the cool clothing lineup from Sixth Sense and their great baits. We got some cool colors in these swim baits. All right, well, let's jump on. We're gonna look at another swim bait, this time a soft swim bait. From Aaron's Baits, we have the Aaron's Baits Wag Swim Bait. I'm really excited about this one, I like this a lot. Uh, it starts with this nice kind of streamlined bait fish profile. You know, that's a pretty universal profile. So you can use this one in your home lakes. Maybe you're a traveling angler, you got a tournament far away with a lake you're not super familiar with. That, that common bait fish streamlined profile is really gonna be universal and work everywhere. They have a ton of great colors, and I mean, they are generous with the flake in this thing. This thing's got a ton of sparkle with the one that I have in my hand, but all the other colors that integrate these flakes, they tend to be you know, really generous with those flakes. So you're gonna get some great looks out of this one in addition to the performance. So they come a couple to a pack. I have the six inch option here. We also have some four inch options. So the six inch is gonna come a couple to a pack pre-rigged one of them with an 8-aught jig head. So that's really nice. And let's talk about that jig head uh, here. So it 
it actually gets inserted into this deep cavity on the bait. So one that's gonna give you, of course, easy rigging, but for another, that little cavity is gonna kind of grab and displace more water, maybe just help that bass key in on the bait. And then say, you know, again, it's winter time, we need any advantage we can to get some of these bites. That channel's actually gonna be a great place if you wanna add some of your favorite scent to it. But even if you don't add the scent, you're gonna get some great action. I mean, it's really soft plastic. I mean, you can see how limp this tail is. So you're gonna get really, really nice action out of this. A, yes, you will get that heavy thump from the tail, but the way they created and molded this body, you're gonna get a nice side-to-side -side wobble, a different roll to it. So there's just gonna be a ton of different action and attracting power to really draw in those fish. Like I said, the six inch option comes two to a pack with one jig head on there, and then the four inch is gonna come three to a pack with a six aught jig head. So one of them's gonna be pre-rigged, ready to go. These things can jump out of the package, start chasing some fish in your water. All right, let's take a look at a couple other options, this time from Pulse Lures. First up, we have a new swim bait head, the Pulse Lures swim bait head. So up front, we have this guppy style head, really popular, you know, that nice streamlined, thin profile. They have some holographic eyes on the side just to add a layer of realism, uh, you know, a strike point for those fish to key in on, and then those durable uh, paint scheme on it. So if you're open, swimming through open water and you're just dealing with fish attacking this thing, that paint job's gonna stand up for a while. And if you're bouncing it through some rocks, you know, it's gonna last a little bit longer than maybe some of the other baits on the market. Another neat feature of this one, is the hook keep or the bait keeping system on the back? They actually added this wire keeper system farther down the shank than you see on most other uh, jig heads. So they say that's just going to really lock down your swim bait better and maximize the life of it. So if any of you anglers out there have used one with a keeper system where that wire keeper is farther down the shaft, let us know in the comments whether you like that style or if you like the more traditional with the wire keeper farther up. Either way, I think it's a pretty neat uh, new option to kind of attach your trailer and keep it fixed on there. You don't need any messy glues. It's going to be held on there nice and snug and last up to a ton of fish. Of course, we have that nice, reliable, sharp hook on the back. If you're looking for something with a little bit more flash, they got you covered there. The Pulse Lures Matt Airy PJ Spinning Underspin. So you got that same guppy style head, this time with some 3D eyes on it. So you're going to get nice premium eyes, uh, another just layer realism for fish to key in on. And then below it, we have this wire arm that they actually really specifically, they spent a lot of time designing that wire arm. They got the perfect length and the perfect angle that's gonna keep this blade oriented just below your plastic without interfering with it. So it's not gonna get stuck. So when you cast this thing out, it's gonna be fluttering from the beginning of your tree all the way back to the boat. And to really maximize that flutter, they anchored that premium willow blade with a spro swivel. So you're gonna get that buttery, smooth action out of that blade, which is really nice. Again, we have that wire hook keeper a little bit farther down the shaft, and this one comes armed with a gamakatsu light wire hook. And that's really important. Matt Airy spent a lot of time selecting the perfect hook for this one. And again, kind of that winter theme that I've been talking about, I think that's gonna really play a key role as we get into those colder, colder waters because those mouths of the bass, like I mentioned, do get hard annually. Every year once we head into winter, their mouths kind of firm up. And so that light wire hook is just gonna give you better penetration, just a more positive hook set. So pretty neat uh, swim bait head from Pulse Lures. All right, let's see what we're gonna put on the back of those things. Also from Pulse Lures, we have the Pulse Lures Plastics Soft Jerk Bait. So you have kind of that fluke style body to it, really popular bait fish style, uh, nice tapered, you know, kind of keeled design. And this thing is really soft plastic, so just even a little bit of shake in my hand here, you know, you get a ton of fluttering action from the, from the tail. So you can absolutely use, use it on one of these swim bait heads, maybe that underspin. Uh, it's gonna go great on the back of a scrounger, a wobble, wobble style head, even a chatter bait. Or, I mean, you know, if you're looking for some finesse option, winter time, that drop shot can be key. This could even be a cool little drop shot bait when your bass are keying in on some of those uh, bait fish style forages. So we have a horizontal fork tail on the back. We have subtle ribbing all throughout the body, which is just gonna give it more of a natural, realistic feel when a bass does come and take a chomp of this thing. And also might grab a little bit of water, add a little bit of disturbance, just help the bass locate and key in on this thing. So great action, nice, soft, still durable plastic and cool colorways. This one has that cool holographic purple flake to it, a nice white body. And there's plenty of other colors on our website. So whatever uh, hat you're facing, you're gonna be able to match it better with these cool colors. So definitely head over to tacklewarehouse.com, check out the different colors. And I mean, you could thread that thing on a ton of different stuff. Last thing I want to talk to you guys about today is a new line. So we have the Instinct Fluorocarbon line. So this is 100% fluorocarbon and it's going to give you all the benefits of that. You're going to get, you know, abrasion resistance, low stretch, high invisibility, maximum sensitivity. Again, I'm going to hit on that winter theme. 
you know, those bites are gonna be coming fewer, farther between. So this is gonna really give you more invisible, covert approach to those fish, and that sensitivity is gonna make sure that you don't miss any bites. And this thing is engineered, uh, manufactured with an uh, advanced extruding process. So you're just gonna get a more reliable, more consistent fluorocarbon. So every spool that you get, you know is gonna be the exact same. So nice premium, high quality fluorocarbon. That's gonna be really key this winter and anytime you're looking for a covert way to approach fish available in a bunch of different size ranges from finesse to power fishing. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up everything new I got for you, for you today. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. And to check out these products, to learn more about them, shop for them, click the link in the description below or head on over to Tackle Warehouse. If you enjoyed this video, you want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And let us know in the comments below, you know, which one of these baits you're most excited, which one of these swim baits you're really excited to use, or if you've used that keeper system on those pulse, uh, pulse lure swim bait heads. We got a lot to talk about. We'll see you in the comments and we'll see you next week.